Welcome back. So in this session, today we are going to see the use case of browser.execute. Now WebDriver.io provides the execute method which accepts uh, a script and an argument. Now we need to see what is the usage of this execute and then what exactly we can execute inside this particular method. So execute method is basically to run any kind of a JavaScript that you can do on your browser actually. For an instance, like let's say that if I want to get a couple, uh, the URL, the title of this page, or maybe probably let's say that I want to get the some kind of identifying some element, highlighting an element. So like this several lot of different options are there if you want to see those things what you can do you can go to the console tab so in any of the browser if you go to right click inspect then you go to the console tab here whatever you can uh, execute right whatever the scripts those things you can really execute in your browser dot execute actually so whatever you can execute inside this, those things you can execute by using this browser.execute. So normally see, uh, even we can execute a lot of different actions in WebDriver IO, right? But that happens outside of your browser actually. But whatever you are executing inside this, that will not be executed on your script level, but that executes inside this actually. So within your browser, that script will be executed. Now these scripts, whatever we are writing browser.pause, browser.url, that will be outside of your browser, means it can be controlled by the WebDriver IO. But anything that you will be mentioning inside your like browser.execute. Now those things, there is no control over your web driver IO. Okay, now let's see a couple of things. Now to understand what are the different things we can really execute inside this, one of these we know actually. So this is my document. Document is nothing but the entire screen. Now if you put dot, there are a lot of different options are there. One is you can get the URL. You can see it is giving the URL of that particular page. Now this thing I can really print it inside this particular browser.execute. Now how do I write actually inside this? So for this I need to pass a parameter. In this case there is nothing. Now in this I will be executing that particular script. Now let's say that I will say that let URL equal to this one and then I will say that return. Now if I print this right, if I print console.log and here I will be printing the URL actually. So like this you can really do that. And to understand what are the different methods that I can run inside this particular uh, console and also the JavaScript, there is a nice reference I would suggest go to the W3 schools and if you go to the HTML section, here actually they gave couple of things like here you can see the document object like how we have used the URL, get title and all of these properties are written inside this. Okay, you can use the method or the what you call the properties document or title it will give you the uh, the browser title or ready state so it will give you the return type a boolean value whether your script is whether your page is loaded or not so the same thing lot of different methods and properties are there and if you want to execute you can use the document object and you can do that the same thing anything that you see inside this html dome right everything you can really execute it in fact you can also execute the styles as well let's say that you want to border you want to put some border actually into that like if you see here like set some border you can see Let's say that there is an element on your screen which you want to take a screenshot but you want to highlight that so that your developer can identify that. So what you can do, there is no highlight method from WebDriver IO. So you can use this particular method actually like the element which you want to uh, do the border and then you can just put dot style dot border equal to something, the CSS property. And then when you execute inside the browser.execute, it will be coming like this border on your application element. We can see a couple of those example, examples as well. So there is one thing to note actually. So if you see here, now I have put this console.log outside. That's why I can see this outside. Let me show you that. So for now, let me just rename and get this and put it into the conf.ts here. 
and here I will be printing and then let me run this particular test. Okay, so as you can see the test case go past. Now let's see. You can see that the URL got printed here. The same thing I can I can just copy paste this content and I can get the page status. Let's say that I will say page and I will say that ready state ready state and this ready state will be returning this one so let me just show you that here so go to the console and you say document dot dot ready state and you can see because this page is already loaded it will give you the complete as status so like those things also you can print it one thing to note actually i am printing all these things outside the this particular browser dot execute if you see that if you put it inside this right inside this page uh, browser dot execute it won't actually print into your terminal because all this content will be printing inside your browser so it means that it will print here actually so that is why i'm not keeping it inside and here it should be page status like this now let's say that as i told i can highlight couple of things like if i go to this particular page let's say that i want to highlight this particular full name field now if i just inspect it you can see the id is username so the first thing, see now here I cannot do like this, like let element equal to await and then dollar. This thing will not work actually, I'll show you that. So I cannot pass this element inside this particular browser execute and then try to do the uh, what you call highlighting. Because as I told, this await, this dollar don't have any out of box method. Now any element you are passing inside this browser dot execute, that won't be treated as a, uh, what do you call, JavaScript identified element. It would be the web driver IO element. What I'm trying to say here, like let's say that if I'm doing like this. Now for highlighting what is that we have seen dot style dot border, right? Like. Uh, so I, oh, I don't want to return anything. Now let's say that I want to pass this one here. Okay. Now for passing actually there is a way. Now this is actually the way that you're passing here, right? But this value will be null for now. What you need to do this value, if you want to take inside, you have to first print it here as a parameter. See this parameter I'm taking to here. From here it will be going. So it's a reverse manner it is going. Now see this EL don't have any style method you can see but here if you go for document dot get element id or whatever locator that has this one now i will just copy paste this particular line and here i will be giving now document dot get element by id that is username right so i will print like this username and there is no value of that so it means that you cannot send this value this element inside this because it will be treated as the web driver io element only so i'm removing that now here get element by id username and dot style now you can see dot style border whatever you want to do you can just print it that now let me just run and show you that And you can see that the border is now printed with a blue border. Even you can highlight that also. So for highlighting, there is an option actually what you can do. Like you are giving the border, right? There is something called as a background color. Now what I will do this border and background color, both I will be clubbing together. So for this, what I'm going to do first, I will be creating a particular style attribute actually here. So what I'm going to do const you can just take any constant and you say style equal to so this is my style actually here you can add multiple css stuff here so that is, this has to be like this this syntax and now here what i'm going to do i'll copy paste up to here because this is my element right now let's say i'll i can even give like this so where el equal to this particular and now el dot there is something called as a set attribute now you see 
because I'm using document dot get element by ID. So because I'm using the document dot get element ID, which is JavaScript's own methods, I get lot of different options and these options you won't get in your the actual a await dollar actually here because this is how your web driver IO is suggesting but this is actually the actual JavaScript now here I will say style and then what is that style I want to mention here so that style is nothing but this style which I have added here now this style will be assigned here now let's see if it is really giving a background color with uh, highlighting and also it is giving a border actually there now let me run this test and you can see it highlighted with a border red as we asked for this style and you can see that the url document dot ready state all these things are appearing so this document dot ready state where you can use you know like think about you can put it as a uh, what do you call as a method actually outside of this let me show you that now think about you given a function as get page status let's say get page status and inside this you will be calling this particular method actually here okay now let's say i'm doing this browser dot this entire thing i'm putting here okay i'm putting here now this particular okay uh, you know what i need to put it inside this okay a sync function get page status and then i'm taking like this and here i will say return page status I'm just keeping like this actually now what happens I can put it into a utility method whenever I need now here instead of that variable I will say get page status I'll call this method now if I keep this one into a utility method I can call this method in any of my test framework the same thing let's say that I want to take this particular content now let's say that I'm doing a control X I'm creating a new a sync method let's say that I'm saying highlight element now you have to pass that string actually whatever this string now I will say locator locator and this has to be string now let's say that ID actually now I'm taking all of I make sure that all of my elements that I want to highlight that should have some kind of a locator IDs now the question comes how do I pass this particular parameter inside my browser dot execute as I told take this one put it inside but this one you cannot take directly right what I said you have to do like this now when you put this locator ID into this now here what you can do instead of using a hard code value you can just put that particular locator id that's it now what happens this becomes dynamic now you just need to call that one only now here i will just create a new line and i will say highlight highlight element of what i want to send the email sorry username right username let's say that i want to use the same method multiple times so i will take highlight element and i will say that let's say telephone this is one of my other id actually now like this multiple times you can put it so this is the benefit of using methods actually different methods for now for demo purpose i kept all these two things inside this particular browser dot execute test but you can create this util method and you can put it inside so that across your framework you can call this utility methods for some time let's say that if your click button is not working by using the web driver i was uh, this normal dot click method let's say you are just doing here let's say that you are trying to click something for some reason let's say this click option is not working no need to worry actually what you can do you can just use the web uh, the javascript click method i will show you that so any methods that we are seeing the same thing you should see into your html dom also here now you should see there will be a click method 
method you can see this is the regular click method only so what you can do this particular line of code you can run inside your browser.execute you just need to pass what is the id or query selector for your css selector whatever it is there you can just pass inside this actually so like this you can keep for an instance let me show you that as well for some reason let's say that if your click is not working so i'll just copy paste this one and i will say that click some method i'm doing here now in this actually i'll do these two things i will call and there is nothing to return actually and here inside this i will put locator id or let's say that you want to send the query selector now here i will just put query selector okay now how do i query selector get query selector there is a method right document dot get query selector get element no get query selector there has to be yeah you can see query selector and inside this you need to put this query selector and this click is this click method what i am using right this click method is not similar to this click because this click is very specific to your javascript document dot query selector sometimes this will work also so like this different ways different javascript functions or uh, you can write it okay the client side script also we call it you can keep it into the util and as per the requirement you can keep calling them so yeah that's pretty much it about the browser dot execute I hope this session is helpful let me know if you want to try anything else and that is not working we can look into that so hope this session is useful do subscribe to this youtube channel and stay tuned for more updates thank you for watching